Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, Dave Collins, and now we'll get into some football action. Let's give a quick preview for <laughs> a, a setup of the AFC East. It looks like the Patriots. Why? Uh, <laughs> After we'll get, this Sunday, we'll why? We'll get to your Jets later. Okay. We'll talk Patriots-Bills first. AFC East battle. It looks like the Patriots running away with the division as expected, even without uh, Brady playing. They survived last Thursday. They got the win. What's in store for them this week? Do, does anybody know who's going to start, including the Patriots themselves? I, I, I don't think it matters. I think the Patriots are going to roll over Buffalo. And, in Probably. fact, me, me being a Jets fan, I, I'll take any one of the New England quarterbacks, even Tom Brady if he's suspended, <laughs> rather than Ryan Fitzpatrick. You know, six interceptions here, and a, a million dollars for each interception that Fitzpatrick threw against Kansas City. Um, I don't think the Bills really have a chance. You know, they might score a touchdown early, might keep it close until halftime, but I don't really think it matters who's under center. I think the defense is just going to come out and blow Buffalo away. I think Taylor's going to be running around for his life at Foxborough on Sunday afternoon. Well, here's a couple things that I see from the Patriots going into this week. I do think quarterback matters, and I don't mean it as Bel- Belichick can't handle it or they can just throw anyone back there. But you saw Jacoby Brissett, and he was not that good. He, he wasn't great, and he, and he didn't lose the game for them. But, Conservative offense. But you can't do that for a 16-game schedule. That's the problem. And I think we underestimate what Brady brings to this team. We think, oh, just plug and play, or us Patriots fans think just plug and play. But I don't think you'd get through that season. You were playing the Texans, who have their own problems. Now you're playing the Bills. But when you start playing Pittsburgh on the road and go to Denver and those type of teams, you're going to have trouble. And I think we're going to appreciate Brady coming back against the Browns. I don't think you have anything to worry about this week. And then when TB12 graces us with his presence next week, everything will be fine in New England once again. So the Patriots should win. We'll get to their picks. We'll get to our picks later in the show. Let's go back to the Jets. <laughs> what? Well, you know, you started it, so I had to finish it. So we'll go back to the Jets. Uh, Ryan that's a game, <laughs> I want to say this, Jeremy. That's a game that the Jets could have won. Even they, in the fourth quarter, they were only down thir- uh, 17-3. to three. Right. And somehow they and just driving. they yeah. literally hand the ball to Kansas City, right. running in for a touchdown. Um, you know, your question is, Ryan Fitzpatrick, um, Todd Bowles said that uh, the team had a come-to-Jesus meeting after the loss in wow. Kansas City on Sunday, or maybe it was Monday morning once they got back to New Jersey. Fitzpatrick's not the answer. Geno Smith's not the answer. Right. I don't know who's the answer for the Jets. It seems like year after year we go through this. You know, Mark Sanchez for a couple of years, okay, he's great. But then he fell off the face of the earth. Chad Pennington, if you want to go way back as a Jets fan, you know, they bring in these quarterbacks that are – Average, maybe a bit above average at best, these veterans. Remember, Neil O'Donnell was on that team a right, long time yeah. ago. But Fitzpatrick right now, everything he threw was high, it seemed, and just wasn't in sync with And he his... was forcing a lot of yeah. stuff into traffic mm-hmm. as well. And I think the biggest problem is with the Jets is they need to commit to something. And they didn't want to commit to Fitzpatrick by obvious reasons because yep. they waited forever, and they're not committing to Geno Smith. They need to commit to something. And these teams that are just saying, hey, I'm going to commit to X, Y, or Z, I think you at least get a sense of what you have. Whether it be the Eagles, we'll talk about them in a little Mm -hmm. bit. Carson Wentz, they've committed to him, and they said whatever we get is what we get. Jets, though, they're always on the fence. Right, and and teams have won Super Bowls with you know, maybe above-average quarterbacks. I think Gene McMahon, above-average quarterback with the Bears. You go back to Trent Dilfer, who won a Super Bowl. You know, five or six years ago with Mark Sanchez, the Jets committed to something, defense Mm -hmm. and ground and pound. They didn't have to worry about the quarterback getting them in trouble. they got the two AFC championships. Right. But now you've got receivers like Marshall and Decker where you need a quarterback that's going to get the football to them, and he couldn't do that in Kansas City on Sunday. I will say, though, Joe Namath had (laughs) two games – of six interceptions, or three games of six interceptions. He's not walking through those doors, ladies and gentlemen, though. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, must win this week. Jets hosting Seattle. Who is this a bigger must win for? Seattle getting off a nice win, but Russell Wilson hurt. We'll see what he, what he's going to do. i got to imagine it's the Jets who have to win this game. I think so, too, with a record of 1-2. and two. Rams and Seahawks are tied for the lead in the NFC West. Seahawks are going on the road. You don't really expect expect much when a West Coast team comes all the way out to New Jersey to play the Jets. Jets need this because, simply, the Patriots are 3-0, and about to be 4-0 possibly against the Bills after Sunday afternoon. And the Jets have Pittsburgh yeah. and Arizona on the road the next two weeks. So, with that being said, if the Jets don't win this game, i got to imagine going on the road to Pittsburgh and Arizona is going to be a lot tougher. I don't want to watch. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't blame you. And the, and the Seahawks have a bye, and then they host the Falcons. Yeah. So if, if you're handicapping the AFC East, 
who's running up second behind the Patriots right now? Because nobody, I mean, Dolphins took overtime to beat the Browns at home. Yeah. Let's see, let's see let's see how close the Bills get to the Patriots this Sunday. And, they and that, may be that may be the runner us up. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. a sad state of affairs. In, in the Jets NFC land East. it is. So oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back. We'll talk some NFC, uh, which teams have impressed us, and uh, looking forward to for the next week's games. When we come back, you're watching YCN Sports Talk. <laughs> 